In this video, we will explore the properties of definite integrals. Here we have a very straightforward problem of definite integrals. We have been told the integral 0 to 4 f of x dx. But we have the function f of x as a piecewise function, where x less than 1 is one certain function and greater than or equal to 1 is given by something else. So here there's a problem. We can't take the interval 0 to 1 directly for f of x. We need to split this up. How do we split it up? It's not 0 to 4, sorry. How you can do it is 0 to 1 is one particular function and then because it's less than 1. So you can take 0 to 1 as 2x dx plus then from 1 to 4 we will consider the next function because this is valid for anything greater than or equal to 1. So 1 to 4 is 4 dx. Now we can just use the calculator. In the writing part we have done the written method for this using formulas but now we will just use the calculator and solve it up. All you have to do is integral, the definite integral symbol as you can see here, press that up and now let's type 2 alpha x and the limit starts from 0 to 1 and then press next over here, press plus and again definite integral, write the function, it's 4 from 1 to 4 and that's the answer, 13, the final answer would be 13. For this question it's the same thing but First, we need to change the limits here and then the function as well. So I'll write it out over here. What is the limit? The limit breaks from 0 to 2. And from 0 to 2, we will take 2 dx plus integral from 2 to 4, we will take 3x dx. Now you can just put this in the calculator and get the answer. Please do try it by yourselves and over here the answer will be 12. Now let's try these problems. Here they are asking you, to write these integrals, definite integrals, in a single term, single interval. Now there's a rule, whenever you have 0 to 2 and this starts from 2 to 3, this is common over here, right? Then you must look at the functions. The functions are also same. We can write it as 0 to 3 directly, f of x dx. How you understand is, now you start from your home, say you went to the gas station, and then to your school. Your initial dis initial position was over here, your home. You stopped over here and finally you reached home. Now if I'm just telling where did you go, you went from your home to the school. So I can directly even uh, tell you reached over there. This is just to understand, it's not practically ap applicable over here. This example, is okay, not that great, but it makes sense over here in the next problem. Let's do that over there. But before that, I hope you understand if there is two terms over here, that's it, done. And provided it must be a plus sign. If it's minus, it's not possible. Now here, we have 0 to 3. Fine, but we have minus. But look over here, are these two numbers matching? No. But here there is 3, so we will swap them up. We will write minus, but when we swap this 3 down over here to 2, we have to multiply minus, it'll become 2 and over here 3 f of x dx. Now what happens? Integral 3 to 0 over here it becomes plus. So this is f of x dx and there will be plus integral 3 to 2 f of x dx. Now we can see this is a common number so we can just write 0 to 2 f of x dx. This is the answer and it's plus in the middle. Now that example over here 0. Now let's take 2 and over here 3. You wanted to go to 0 to 2 but you went over here to a position 3 and then you reached over here but ultimately your goal was to reach 2 you have reached over there anyways. So this is just a detour that's fine you can remove it off okay. I just hope you understand that's the rule you should just apply the rules and simplify them it'll be 0 to 2 f of x over here 0 to 3 f of x for the first one. Same way, please do try these by yourselves. Over here, they are straightforward because both are 2. It will just be 0 to 1. In this case, it will be minus 1 to 3. And then you have to just write f of x dx. So these are the answers over here. And what about these? Over here, they have given us the values of f of x and g of x. And then we have to solve them up. 
This is again a simple, simple topic. I'll do the B. The question B is integral 1 to 3. All the limits are matching. Otherwise, if it doesn't match, you cannot use it. You must see which matches and use the appropriate one. 2 times integral 1, 3, 2 times f of x. Now, what is this? I will remove that integral because we are we know the value for integral f of x is 3. So basically, this limit is multiplied inside for both the terms. Okay, But you can directly do this. 2 times f of x is 3 minus of minus 2. That's it. Now, this dx is removed. Why? Because we are applying the value for the integrals. So we directly substitute the values over here at 6 plus 2. The answer is 8. Same thing over here. We have to just do 3 minus 2. The answer is 1. And it, it is as easy as it can get. This is 1. This is 8. Similarly, please do try these by yourselves. And then watch the video. Over here we have 4. G of x is minus 2 minus 3 times f of x is 3. You can just put in the calculator and solve. Over here we have f of x minus of minus 2. It will be plus. So it will be 5 over here minus 8, minus 9, it will be 16, 17, minus 17. So these are the answers for these problems. Very simple problems. And that's the end of this topic. Another very easy topic. Please use your calculators. Try to do it as directly as possible because the options will be given to you in this problem.